Hello, my name is Seb and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be showing you a dApp, Dual Casino, which is on the Solana blockchain. Now, I'm going to be trying to do this every couple of days showing another dApp, so follow along for different dApps that you can interact with. There's more to life in the Solana ecosystem than just NFTs and holding Solana. So let's dive in and let me get you acquainted with this casino. So first things first, here's their Twitter, Dual Casino. They were established last year. Now, a person that you may see in the community is Sugar. He's a bit of a degen and he's a bit of a brand ambassador for Dual because he likes to gamble. So let's dive into the website. So this is a website, Dual.win. And we're going to go ahead and we can connect our wallet up here. I'm going to use Backpack today, but you can use Phantom as well if you like. I'm just going to show you a brand new wallet that we can set up. So this is how we start with the setup. Connect our wallet, backpack of course. We're signing the message, so approving here. And this will come up with a name. We'll change it in a moment. Then we can come and we can click on deposit. And we can either deposit in Solana, Bonk, Boku, or USDC. So as an example, I can deposit $50. This will automatically go and convert to their platform token, which is called chips, and it's $50 worth. So if we did $20 of Solana, we'd get $20 worth of chips. But just be aware, um, as it says, the value of Solana can vary between the time that we receive the payment. Although I found when I've done a couple of deposits, it didn't take very long, like a couple of minutes, and it was there. I probably think USDC is probably the best bet here though, as it's nice and stable. While that's going through, I'll show you how you can change your name if you want to change your name. You come up here and then you can either be a public profile or private. Click on edit profile, type in the name you like, Seb's tutorials, upload a picture if you like, or you can just click on private profile and save. Okay, our deposit is successful, so we're good to go. Let me just quickly show you around the platform. So we have on the left hand side, we've got the different games. There's five games at the moment. Coin Flip, Jackpot, Dream Tower, Plinko, which I like, and Crash, which is quite a bit of fun. And then we've got a few things down at the bottom. Now quickly, why am I covering this? Uh, this is not an ad. I'm just trying to show a whole lot of dApps that are available on the Solana ecosystem. So in my opinion, it's not Polygon versus Ethereum or Polygon versus Solana. I think the whole crypto community needs to work together. There will be tribalism, which I'm not going to worry about in this quick little tutorial. But basically, Solana does have this really clean UI. The fact that the fees are very, very low. It's a very good onboarding. It's a very good playing blockchain. There can always be improvements made, but I do think Solana has a lot of long-term benefit in terms of just using it, having fun. The other thing is, this is a tutorial. I'm having fun in this casino, um, but you know, it's a, it's a gambling platform. So just keep that in mind, be smart, etc. The other thing that I like is the fact that it's provably fair. So if we click down here on the left, it basically goes over something which is a little bit complex for this video, but you can dive into it if you want. And the fact that it uses random.org to generate randomness, pure randomness. So you're not dealing with any shadiness. You can see it. And also we have down here some docs. So bring up the docs. We'll go through a couple of them a little bit later, but some of them are still being worked on. Um, but probably one really important thing to know is that down here is prohibited jurisdictions. So not everyone's allowed to play on this fantastic site. And this, uh, this is actually a casino which is actually registered in Curacao which is in uh, the Caribbean. I've been there, it's cool. Okay, so let's let's go play. So I'll just show you how to play everything here. Now, I think the best time to play would probably be when there's, you know, maybe your DAO or some friends are all kind of getting in, you're in chat, you're just having a bit of luck, but I'll show you all the things. And I'll just quickly jump back to Twitter. One really good thing about uh, Dual casinos, they have a lot of giveaways or just events running. So 
you know, if there's an event which is partnered with your community, that's when I would probably be playing, but you can play whenever. It's a 24 hour, seven days casino. So the first thing here is coin flip. And you can either play it against a jeweler, so I can go and create a, a game, a, a bet and create a game. And someone can come along and take the other side. I've taken green, so it's like heads or tails, or I could take purple, or I could just go random, or we can go against a jewel bot. And a jewel bot is basically, it's essentially just going against a bot. And they actually have their own NFT collection, which is covered under jewel bots. I don't have any jewel bots and I won't really cover them. Um, but basically if you own a jewel bot, you can go, it looks like this, you can go and stake it. And then you earn a share of the revenue from the platform. So going back to coin flip, someone can come along and jump on this game and whoever wins, wins. So I'm going to do a couple of uh, games against a jewel bot and we'll just, I'm going to go green and it's just going to, it's, they're all random. You can always click on this to see if it's actually random. So I, I won one, I lost the others. You'll see there's a 4% fee. So we, um, four cents lost. You can also go random like that. And every now and then, if you're feeling lucky, you might get a pretty epic win streak. What have we got here? Jewelbot, me and Jewelbot. Not so lucky at this game. Show you the other one. Jackpot, Jackpot is definitely the best game to play when there's a lot of people jumping in. So you've got a couple of different ones. You've got the wild one where you can go and put in like, you know, unlimited amount. Um, medium has to be $25, $25 or 25 chips to 20, 250 and then the low. And what, what will happen is other people will enter them. And when they entered, you'll have, you know, a share of the pot. And I can't really show you unless someone jumps in. But this is more fun to play, in my opinion, when there's a few people quite active in the community. Then we have Dream Tower. You can play, um, you can try out the automatic settings yourself. For manual, I'm just gonna go with, um, I'm just gonna do manual. We have a max win amount here of $1,500. And the higher you go, um, the, the bigger the payout. So I've, I've not done well at this, I'll be honest. Expert, hard, medium, easy. I'm gonna go with the easier, I'm just gonna show you. I'll put in $2 and we'll start. So we go with place bet. And we've got behind here, we've got three good options and one bad option. So that's the star. We're, we're at profit. We can then decide to go higher. We're at profit. I can go higher again. Good. I can keep going higher until I uh, get a window smash. So I'll, I'll give it a go. All right. I've never been this high before. I'm just going to cash out. That's how you cash out. So you see, if I had to go on the next step, it would have, it would have been nothing. You can also, just to get familiar with it, you can turn this off. Let me just go again to Dream Tower. I can just go and play with zero dollars. Place bet and just get familiar. You know, see if you've got a bit of luck in you at first and then I would have lost. Then if you go to a hard setting, you can see, well, there you are. Anyway, that's Stream Tower. Plinko is where I like to play the most because um, it's a bit of fun. It's definitely, it's a bit of fun. So you've got, I'll just show you. You've got all these different balls where you've got a ball and you place a bet and wherever it lands gives you that multiplier. The great thing about this is it shows you down here by hovering over it, your win chance. So win chance at 27%, so 27% of the time, you're gonna land here. So you're, if you put in a dollar, you're gonna get 40 cents back. 21% of the time, you'll get the same amount back and so on. So let's just flick through. Yeah, let's go with this one here quickly. I'm gonna put on turbo mode. I'm just gonna go a little crazy, place a few bets, see what it, where it goes. Obviously we want the, to go on the higher side. And over here, we can see all of the different returns that we've, we, that we've got here. The other thing that you can do if you're really feeling extra lucky, you've woken up, I don't know. I'm not gonna give gambling advice, it's just fun. 
we can go on Joe's Lair, turn on to DGen. Uh, you can see the max win is 2,500. So even if you put on $10, if it land on 10K, which is a very low chance of winning, then you're only gonna win um, two and a half thousand dollars. Most of the time, of course, you're gonna land in this area. So just be aware that, you know, you're gambling. There are house has advantages. You can see here, nothing's coming on the outside. So that's not a, not a good thing for me. I've seen some people come down here and it's been pretty cool for them. But let's have a couple of uh, little bulls there. Didn't work out for me there. All right, then we have Crash. Crash is also best played with other people, in my opinion. And you'll see that there's up here all of the different multipliers effectively. So if we put on a dollar bet, we can cash out at any stage. Sometimes I've seen this go as high as like 90. I've seen it, I've seen screenshots of it go higher than that. But this is uh, like if you put on, you know, $10 or a dollar, you get this nice multiplier thing is you have to cash out before it burns. So I'll show you a quick a couple. You can play some bets like that, and you can set up a cash out value, or you can just cash out yourself. So I can be like, oh, that I want to cash that one out as an example. Sometimes it burns out at like 1.04. So, you know, and there you are. You can see that I cashed out some, the other ones I didn't. Now I'm just going to quickly flick back to my other wallet where I've kind of been playing a little bit more, having a bit of fun. And you can see Seb's tutorials. So I've got some, some chips here and I also have a rewards thing, which I'll go over in a second. So coming down here, we've got a wager race. So each day, the, f the top five people get a, a daily bonus depending on how much they've turned over. So as an example, you can see I've wagered nothing. Um, you know, sometimes you could wager a couple of hundred, sometimes a couple of thousand, sometimes less. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. This is just a cool dap in the Solana ecosystem. That's a real registered casino. So coming to the wager, wager race, you know, at the end of the 13 hours, whoever's on top will get this bonus that they'll collect in their rewards. But the other thing is there's a weekly raffle. And this is where maybe you and some friends want to jump online and have a bit of fun. We can see that Sugar has the most amount of tickets as he's a DGen, um, 479 tickets. So you get for 500 chips wagered, you earn one raffle ticket. The thing is, you know, one ticket could win, could win the 2K weekly how you get that that extra uh, ticket is just by wagering of course uh, so for example if I'll go to Plinko and I go play this game here I'm just gonna go turbo a couple of bets we're gonna see Also, when it lands over here, it lights up. You can turn off those animations, but I reckon they're cool. We can then see in our rewards that I've wagered that amount. And as that amount goes up to $500, this rolls over to another ticket. So it's gone over to 18 tickets from 17. There's other things as well, such as um, referral, self-exclusion. If you do gamble too much, you can look into that yourself. Now I'm just gonna go over Coupons. So if we come into the docs again and have a look at coupons, every now and then there'll be coupons up for grabs on Discord or on Twitter, so worth playing. Just be aware that you have to turn it over 30 times. Okay, so let's add this reward to the account. So I'll click on deposit, coupons, enter my coupon code, or redeem code, successfully redeemed. So here I have, I've got eight hours to play with them and I have to wager that amount of money. All right, so let's go play. I'm going to go back to Plinko because it's fun. And 
let's let's have a couple of bets here. So you can't just cash this out, of course. I'm gonna go for this one. We'll speed this up. Well, you can see thus far, I've turned my $50 into this and the amount I've wagered needs to go a little bit further before I could cash that out or I could lose it. But either way, it's a bit of fun. Okay, so I just thought I'd just show you, I've uh, gone and run through all this off the camera. You can see I only have to wager a little bit more and then my chips, my blue chips become actual chips. So we can see $1,462.40. Let's go have a little bit of a punt. You can see at this point, I can keep just wagering away with my lucky blue chips. Oh, look at that. Or I can go and claim. Clicking on the claim button. Successfully claimed. I'm now loaded up with some chips. So thank you, Jewel Casino. Also important to know that any playing that you do with this will not carry over and count as being wagered as far as I'm aware. So if you get a coupon, you won't be entered into getting a, a raffle ticket. What Jewel has planned in the future from looking through Discord is like sports betting, which I think will be really, really cool and slots, which might be for some, but sports betting will be really cool in my opinion, in the future. Anyway, that's all for this tutorial. Just remember, this is not financial advice. I'm not saying in any way, go gamble your money. But some people like to gamble. Some of us are DGENs, and some of people just feel a little lucky sometimes and wanna see what happens. So, same thing with all investing, non-advice, but you know, whatever you're gonna risk, just be comfortable with the amount you're gonna risk. And this might be a fun thing for to get to get a, a little bit of a team involved and, and see what happens, have a bit of fun. So thanks very much for watching. And if you want to follow any other dApps in the ecosystem, make sure you stay tuned into my channel because I will release more and more videos on all the dApps covering Solana. Thanks again. Cheers.